We're going to take a look at an example of an application of simple interest. In this case, you're paying interest. Um, the whole process is not particularly simple, but for one month we can use the formula for simple interest. Let's, let's dive into it here. So this example is about a mortgage, and a mortgage is a loan that you uh, get for a home. Suppose you owe $200,000 on your mortgage. The interest rate on your loan is 4% and your monthly payment is $1,193. When you send your monthly payment to the lender, the lender will take a portion of that payment for themselves and not apply it to the loan or to the amount that you still owe. This amount that the lender takes is the monthly interest. That is the cost of borrowing the money, the cost to you to borrow money from the lender. Now, how do we calculate this interest? So the monthly interest you owe on this loan is calculated actually using the simple interest formula. How much interest would you owe in one month? And actually it's just for this particular month right now. We're going to see that that value will change month to month. So let's recall the simple interest formula, which is interest equals principal, which is the amount you owe, times the rate, which is usually an annual percentage rate, times time. So in this case, um, this 4% is an APR, unless otherwise specified most all interest rates on homes are, are annual percentage rates. And so we're looking for the amount of interest we have to pay in one month. The principal in this case is the amount that we owe on the loan, which is $200,000. Alright, the rate is 4% per year, and so we have to multiply that by one month, which is one twelfth of a year. So remember, you have to have uh, whatever this interest rate, whatever the um, time frame is, in this case, annual percentage rate, then time has to be in years. Those two units of measure have to match. All right, let's take a look and see how much interest that this person's going to owe. So we're going to take uh, 200 thousand dollars oops that's too much two hundred thousand times four percent which is point zero four uh, and times one twelfth you could go times one divided by twelve or you could just divide by twelve that's the same thing and we get six hundred sixty six dollars and sixty seven cents so that is the amount of interest that you owe in one month does that seem like a lot yeah it is all right, you have to pay this much interest. So when you send in your monthly payment, which in this case, your monthly payment is going to stay the same once you set up your loan. Most monthly payments stay the same. You're sending in $1,193 into the bank. And the bank's like, thank you very much. Now we're going to take out the interest that you owe. Thank you. That goes to the bank. And they're very happy about that. And they take that money and they go lend it to somebody else and make more money off that money. And so let's see what's left. $1,193 minus the 666.67 they took for themselves. That leaves less than half, $526.33. All right, what do they do with that? Well, they say, hey, you owe you owed $200,000 on your house. And you sent us a payment, so now you don't owe us as much, but we're not taking off $1,193 from your amount that you owe us, from your balance. We're only going to take off $526.33 because we took the rest of your payment for ourselves. All right, so next month, the amount that you owe will be $200,000 minus $526.33. You will owe $199,473.67. All right, that's your new balance. So the next month, when it comes time, let's do this in a different color. So I don't know, let's say this was, let's say this was January of 23 interest, okay? So now it's February of 23, it's the next month. So to calculate the interest for that month, your principal changed. Now you owe $199,473.67 times the rate times the time, which is one month. So it's going to be a little bit less interest because your 
principal was a little bit less. Let's just see. We got this number times 0 0.04 divided by 12. Now your interest is 664.91. 664.91. So then the same process happens again, except instead of um, taking out, you know, 66667, they take out $664.91 from the $1,193 that you send in, take what's left over, and reduce your principal again. And it continues and continues and continues. So every month you're using the simple interest formula to calculate the interest. And this works the same way on credit cards as well. Whatever your balance on your credit card, which is a little, sometimes can be more complicated to uh, compute, but whatever this balance is that you're getting charged interest on, times the rate, times the time, what one month, that's how much interest you're gonna owe for that month. All right, and this process just continues until you owe nothing. Now, if you don't make any extra payments or just do, you know, send in your $1,193 every month, um, this monthly payment has already been calculated uh, so that when you get to the end of your loan, say for a house 30 years, that your balance will be zero and it's taken into consideration the fact that your interest is actually getting less and less and less each month, and the amount towards your principal is getting more and more and more. So the very first payment that you make on, your, on a home loan, a car loan, anything like that, is gonna have the largest portion towards interest because you'll have the largest principal when you're calculating the interest. All right, well, I hope you found that application of simple interest interesting. I think it's it's kind of fascinating, and when we know how these money things work, we can make smart decisions about how to um, best save these extra fees, and one way to do that would be to send in more than the monthly payment. If you send in more than the monthly payment, say I sent in an extra 50 bucks because I, I had an extra 50 bucks, I'll send in my monthly payment and an extra 50 bucks. Well, they're gonna take off that extra 50 bucks, right? Off what you owe, okay? You don't, that's not subject to the interest. So then the next month, this would only be for 23.67, which is gonna make this number right here a little bit lower. And it might not seem like a lot, but if you did that month after month after month, you could save actually thousands of dollars in interest in the long run.